Step one of our hovercraft. This large piece of plywood will be used for the base of our hovercraft. Here we have our um, impervious nylon, which will be used to build the skirt of the craft. We chose this because it won't let water or air through it, and it's a thick, durable material. This is the finished product of our skirt. It, it's 20 feet long, and it will look like this with it encircling our hovercraft. This is the finished base of the hovercraft. This is actually the bottom side of it. We painted it white and flipped it over. And next we will attach the skirt using these metal pieces of carpet trim. Now we have attached the skirt to the base of the hovercraft using our carpet trim pieces and several bolts. Um, the skirt is pinched between the base of the hovercraft and the carpet pieces. Our next step is to flip the craft over. Right. Yeah. This will take right now we're cutting a circle out for the And to make it airtight, we use weather stripping. It's made of foam. Come on. You need a washer? Yeah. And uh... Now we just have to tighten this band and be ready for a test. This is our initial um, test to see if the craft, just the base of the craft covers. Um, we need to adjust the drawstring to get the curve. I think that's the problem. Okay, this is test number two. At the beginning, on our first skirt, we realized that when we pushed the sides, the long sides of our skirt in, that it would hover uh, more successfully than it did before. Um, and after that, we decided to tighten the drawstring even more, and that would uh, make it the curvature even greater, and uh, it was even more successful after that. The third test was much more successful. As you can see, the craft hovered by itself, but when stood on, all, all of the air slid out from under the sides and it went flat again. Upon some more tweaking, we were able to glide the craft easily across the floor. What we're doing is we are mounting 1x4s, running down the craft, and we're screwing it in so hopefully the next time we start up the blower, it will prevent the craft from blowing like this, and it will float more efficiently. There's a screw rack uh, under here, and it's not flush. Should I just make it flush right now? Yeah. Our next step was to create some type of propulsion device to move the craft forward and also a type of steering system. To do this, we originally started out with my dad's electric shop fan. As you can see, our fan can turn. To control the fan, we're going to 
going to mount the strings to each side. Uh, to go right, you pull your left arm and return the fan this way. And to go left, you pull your right arm and return the fan this way. With the three major functions of the craft, lift, propulsion, and steering, somewhat functional, we decided it was time to improve on these. We began by improving on our skirt design, which has to do with the lift of the craft. We got a different type of material and tailored it to fit the corners on the craft. Here we have the new skirt material. Here we have the entire skirt sewn together with our little curves. After a few test runs, we determined that the electric fan and fan blade were not, or could not provide thrust sufficient enough to push the craft forward. So we decided that we were going to remove the electric motor and fan blade and replace it with a gas engine and a um, airplane propeller from Hobby Shop. This is one of our propellers and we're going to try to mount it right here. Now we're going to mount the new wagon. We were running with the weed whacker before was a 20 inch 6 pitch prop, and we decided that um, it might go a little bit faster if we tried the 24 inch 8 pitch prop. So we're going to change those out right now and see how it works. We are attaching the flotation devices, or emergency flotation devices, in case um, something bad ha happens and we need to make sure that the hovercraft is not ruined when it's placed in the water. Push more. Alright, that's good. Middle. Sure. This is Johnny, Andrew's cousin, and he's going to be our test pilot today. We decided that he's the best candidate for our overwater test because he's the lightest and we noticed in their driveway that when he would steer it, the craft would be very responsive, meaning that... Although we exceeded our expectations for this year, there are still many things that can be improved on. We hope to um, improve our single wall design skirt into a bag skirt that would allow us to uh, go on rougher terrain and up hills easier than a single wall design would allow us to. And um, we would also like to um, put a more powerful engine uh, on the fan so that we are able to be propelled up those hills.